Polygon. Hey yo, today I'm going to show you how you can get this really cool duplicate clone slide effect. Now this is a super easy effect, but just gives you a good baseline on how to do some really fun clone stuff in After Effects. So without wasting too much time, let's just jump right into it. As you can tell by my timeline, I already did the rotoscoping. Uh, definitely go crazy, take your time doing that, and then jump into it from here. But in the effects panel, we're just going to go select transform and drop that on our top layer really quick. And then we're going to duplicate our top layer. Notice that I have motion blur selected already. And then on the bottom layer in uh, the effects under transform, we're just going to hit a keyframe right here for position. And then we're going to move forward something like four frames. And we're just going to slide this out to the left a little bit. And then from there, we're going to hit duplicate on our keyboard and hit U. And for this bottom layer, we're actually going to want oh to God. trim the clip so that it starts at the start of this last keyframe right there. And then we're gonna go about, let's say, uh, let's say four or five clip or frames forward. And we're gonna move this all the way over to the right. And about here, I'm gonna hit U on my keyboard on the topmost keyframe. And I'm actually going to reset this one to 960. And then I'm about to go about two frames over on this bottom clip. And I'm gonna have this move so that it's almost behind our subject again, but not entirely. And then I'm going to hit D on my keyboard. I'm gonna go to the bottom most frame and I'm going to adjust the clip so that it starts at the end of the last keyframe. And then I'm going to move about three or four frames ahead slide it out to the left a little bit, and then we're gonna just duplicate this process. Make sure that you're always selecting the bottom most layer, move about three or four frames ahead, slide it out a little bit more. And you know what, I'm feeling crazy, so I'm gonna do it one more time even. And then we're going to select all these clips. I'm hitting control on my keyboard to do that. And then from here, we're going to make sure that we have a keyframe set so that all of our clips are gonna be locked in there for the time being. And I'm gonna move about, you know, a second forward or something like that. And I'm going to reset all these clips to 960. snap I thought I had them all selected and then really quick we're just gonna zoom out a little bit highlight all of our keyframes I'm gonna hit easy ease then we're gonna render this bad boy and see what we cooked up and just like that you can see we already cooked up something really fun now you know I'm noticing that the first clip that slides out oh to the God. left I feel like that one's going by a little quick so I'm gonna adjust that one really quick let's go and find that clip it should be the topmost layer or the second to the topmost layer. And I think I'm just going to adjust the point that it slides back in to be a little bit staggered with the rest of our clips, something like this. And let's see how that looks. Yeah, I think that's already a lot better. Obviously you can play around with this, you can adjust the velocity of your keyframes and stuff, but I think that this is a really fun way to just make some simple run and gun footage a little bit more dynamic. So if you guys found this helpful, like and subscribe, go check the link in the bio to my website where I sell my presets, but I really hope you guys appreciated this and found this helpful. All right, take it easy.